a man who dwells on his past robs his future. A point brought up by uh, Dan Pena. And uh, time to get into my butt hurt position. Um, for me, again, it's it's hard at getting my heart broken. That um, maybe was my no, that was my um, that required my a lot of strength to uh, recover from or th or think to recover, but it was more to uh, discover. Uh, the obvious. But I'm not gonna turn to something, to some of these motherfuckers or bitches, cunts or pansies that keep on saying, nah, man, fuck my ex. Oh, you should have seen my ex. Oh, you're talking about my ex. Tell me about it. No. Um, There's some vaginas in the past that I'm thinking, man, I would love to be licking it, fucking it, massaging it, massaging the clitoris. And there's some that I'm thinking, nah, I'll probably fuck them, but um, with earplugs on. <laughs> and uh, some that I know would just be too much of a fucking headache, so I'll pass. <clears throat> but I look at the past as as a source of information, a lesson. Um, because whether you learn the easy way or the hard way, as long as you've learned and you keep and you keep applying that uh, insight, that knowledge, that experience, I think you should be uh, good to go. But a lot of people uh, will give you, no, well, you see, I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about um, relationships, you know. I'm in love now. <laughs> I'm in love now. I'm married now. Oh, why do you want to talk about that? It's like... And I think we just can't... Um, I think some of the past, like for me, uh, again, all those vaginas and beautiful titties of my past... No, I'm not gonna hate on the motherfuckers that are sucking, sucking on those titties or fucking that pussy. Um, I may be a bit jelly, you know, but fuck it, man. Gotta roll with it. But to to let it devour you, man. To say no, I'm not gonna find another again. No, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna treat all bitches wrong. I'm gonna lie to all of them. But why? <laughs> I, I, I don't get it, man. Uh, I, I don't get that. I don't. One of my friends, uh, He was so busy working on himself, learning, traveling, making money, becoming a world champion, that uh, he didn't have time for heartache. And he could have, and so could other friends, but they were so busy making life happen, designing their life, that it didn't happen that way. And I've seen some people hate on them. What does he think he is? I can make $5,000 in a night. Someday. And, uh... No, man. I, I know I keep on beating the same drum or similar drum over and over on this channel. 
but I want to say that I'm just as fucked up as you are, as doubtful, as worried, as concerned about getting my little feet, my little feelings hurt, <laughs> getting my heart broken, um, or falling in love with the wrong woman or the wrong tranny. But uh, you know what I've noticed is that the more I focus on this, not just this piece right here, but the more I focus on, on making it happen, um, the more it attracts uh, other people, other viewers. So I'm not paying for anyone to subscribe here to this channel, or I'm not even fucking uh, linking anyone from uh, from business or from uh, from Facebook on here. I remember when I had 38 subscribers, now it's 600. So, that's something. Something there. But, uh, that's why it, it feels uh, refreshing when I hear David Goggins or, um, the reflections from uh, Jocko Willink. Because as I see more incredible people in my life or hear about them on Jocko's podcast, no, for me the calculation is simple and At times, I, I, I can feel pathetic or do feel pathetic when I realize that these are not ordinary, these are not extraordinary people. They are simply ordinary people who think of doing things extraordinarily. I know some haters are going to be like, oh, you know what, man, well, Michael Jordan, you know, look at him, and he was tall, and, you know, I can't bench press that much, I'm a midget. Oh yeah, well, you know, you know, uh, um, you know, Conor McGregor, he had a girlfriend, and you know, I don't have a girlfriend, and that means I can't do it. <laughs> and um, and and people will, they'll find reasons to uh, justify their excuse. And if you find one of those motherfuckers that's watched, I could find the reason why I fail. Not, not why just I fail, but why I, why I will could take the title failure. It's okay to fail as long as you keep on trying, but the moment you say, you know what, you know, just, this doesn't look good. I quit. I quit. No more driving for me. And people will do something like that with um, their goal, their fitness goal, their life goal, relationship goal, professional goal, and be like, no, I'm tired, I'm tired, no more of this. <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. I know it sounds like I'm fucking choking over here because um, when I say such things, but yes, I hear it, man. I didn't sign up for this. I don't think you bitch, you're big. You're tall, you're young, you're fucking sexy. You're in America. Suck my dick. Please. Come here. Lick my balls. You're perfect, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go hang out with some fucking weenie that uh, just wants to go out steady, you know? Just wants to take you out to the drive through and, you know, hold hands in the lake. You know, talk about the struggles of feminism. How sexism is uh, ruining the universe. And uh, this song is dedicated to all the dead dreams.
excuses, motherfuckers.